Oh, good morning, my people. Here. Kim! Hey, good morning, hey. Kim. Farid, Farid, come here, newbie. Come here, big guy. That was my favorite long-haired Arab boy. Oh. I love that line, by the way. <laughs> yeah. did, I, did I write that line? Uh, no, I did. Oh, I did. With Farid being so new, one of the things I do to endear myself to him is to come up with these hilarious puns of his name. He loves them. Speaking of names, got what a new one for the name game. Ooh, great. Yeah, watching Braveheart. Braveheart? Braveheart. Braveheart the other night. I love Braveheart. Braveheart. Mel Gibson laying there. there uh, and then what does he yell out? Freedom! Freedom! That's a good That's one. great! That's great! Hey, don't do it too much, Kim. Okay. <laughs> Tim likes to do what he calls the name game. I thought it was pretty lame, but I also thought I could put up with it because it was gonna end. That was about six months ago. Now I'm up preaching this week and it's already Wednesday, so what do we need to see? You writing your sermon? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No, no, it's time for you to get that manuscript to me. Oh, okay. This week, I think I wanna be a little funny. Okay. Maybe punch it up a little bit. Why don't you call Lee and see if the kids have done something cute? People oh. eat that stuff up. When I was interviewing, Tim asked me if I felt comfortable taking the lead with, with sermons. I, I thought that meant creating sermon series. I didn't realize that meant creating his sermons. Hey, it's Bill. Bill Parkinson, my teaching pastor partner. We are dying, let me die. Hey, Bill. The phone. Always on the phone. Every time I want to talk to him. Busy man. Busy man, that bill. If you'd like to make a call. This is Tim. Tim, Tim McKenzie's on line one. Excellent. Big Mac. T-Mac, the Mayor McCheese of the Elders. How are you today? Tell me. I'll put him through. I usually wait 10 seconds before I put a call through to let Tim get through his opening lines. It protects him from himself. Shelby! Shelby! Shelby Smith, Mr. Urban Strategies. We're tight, tight. What's up? What's up? That's something we do. What's up? That's something, right? That's another yeah. thing we do. We pretend like we don't do things we do. I don't do what's up. I don't know about you. I, I don't do what's up. So. Hey, okay. when, when are you and I? We're getting out on the town. Well, you know, making a difference. Out on the town. We really try to get the pastors down to Midtown. But, you know, we really try to keep Tim, well, on campus so he can do a lot of praying and stuff. You know what I mean? Rosie. Rosie Stevens, Queen of Missions. Hey, Rosie. When am I gonna go on a mission trip? You know, get out of the country, see the world. Oh, come on, you're not still mad about that couple. I'm quite a student of other cultures, foreign countries, mainly through movies. Like, take the Crocodile Dundee movies. Hilarious, but also a great way to understand another country. Tim, they were from Austria. Austria, not Australia. They're two different countries. Know that now. People have asked me, does a sermon really translate multi-site? And I'm just gonna tell you, the people in Cabot and down in Benton and Bryant, <laughs> they love us as teaching pastors. Who are you showing this week? We're showing Hobbes. Braveheart. You're doing a movie? Awesome. Wow. I called you together today as worship leaders because even though Fareed has provided a youthful edge to worship, I realized the other night at my Monday night karaoke that something was missing. Something's wrong with the edge. There's nothing wrong with the edge. Well, something that would just kind of speak to the next generation. And, and so I invited a friend here today, and I want to introduce him to you. Yo, yo, Lundy in the house. Here with my worship peeps, prepare to be wowed. Yo, VIP, 
Say. Exactly. And I thought if the edge needs anything, it's a little more passe. Trust me, folks, we're going to deliver on this. Did you need to see me, Denny? Yeah. Tim, the, the worship center thing? Mm -hmm. We're not going to name the worship center the Timothy A. Lundy Worship Center. Why not? I think it's a perfectly good name. Tim, Tim we, we've never named things after people. Well, it, it doesn't technically have to be me. I mean, the A could stand for anonymous. The Timothy Anonymous Lundy Worship Center. Anonymous? Uh-huh. Tim, what's your middle name? Well, Alan, but that, that's beside the point. Tim, it feels like vanity to me. Vanity? Yeah. If you think me naming stuff after myself is vanity, then I don't know the meaning of the word vanity. Tim? Yes? Tim? What's the matter? Oh, today's just been horrible. I mean, Denny won't let me name anything after myself. And the Edge guys don't understand what's hip. They just don't understand. You know what you need? A good old-fashioned Pulaski Academy office raid. This is great. We sold the campus to Pulaski Academy, and they actually moved in some of the offices. Ellis Arnold, the headmaster, I kept a key to his office. Office raid! Oh, no, 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 Tim, he's working! Office raid! Office raid! Office raid! Was this important? You have been raided, my friend. We got you again. This is getting old, Tim. I've got to get that key back from you. Yeah, the last one I gave you yeah. was my house key. <laughs> we are really going to miss all the great folks from Fellowship. Now, Tim, not so much. You know, today was a productive day after all, if I do say so myself. Hey, what do you say tomorrow we raid Ellis's office again? But you gave him his key back. Oh, look and learn, young Skywalker. I gave him my car key. Awesome. <laughs> I am going to need a ride home, though.